Hi, my name is Jörg Müller and I'm going to show you how to use the incisive formal scoreboard to perform data pass verification using formal analysis. The incisive formal scoreboard uses a concept um, utilizing sequences of symbols. So a symbol is an arbitrary value picked by the tool. A sequence of symbols is constrained to be driven into the data pass and so we expect the same sequence of symbols appearing on the output of the data pass. These sequences can be as simple as an always symbol sequence. That means I'm driving basically the same value into the input all the time. So obviously I expect to see the same value appearing on the output side. If it occurs that on the output we observe any value different than the selected symbol value, then this indicates a bug in the data pass. More complicated sequences include the two consecutive symbols only sequence. In this sequence, I constrain the input to um, have only two consecutive occurrences of a symbol and so I expect the same sequence on the output side. Using this sequence, if I observe a single symbol only on the output, or three symbols in a row, or a symbol with a break in between and a symbol, all of these sequences indicate an issue in data pass. In order to apply sequences of symbols on my design, I need to instantiate the IF scoreboard next to the DUT, uh, which includes the data pass. Once I instantiated it, I'm going to connect the input port to the associated input port of the data pass, and I connect the output port of the scoreboard uh, to the output port of the data pass. This scoreboard can be found in the incisive release under tools, IFV, utils, IF scoreboard, if you look into this directory, we find application notes as well as a VHDL package and the actual IF scoreboard module. Let's have a look at the scoreboard module. So this file includes a header which uh, contains a lot of information on how to use this scoreboard, how to configure it, in particular how to define the tests. Further, we find an example instantiation in the header. This is an example for an AXI bridge. What you can do is to copy this example instantiation from the header of the scoreboard and paste it into your design or your test bench. And then you have to adjust the parameters and the ports in order to connect it to your data pass. So for our example design, we already did that. As you can see, we have three instances of the scoreboard instantiated in the test bench. We adjusted the data pass width to be the same as the data widths of the vector that we want to connect in data in this case. And then we also connect the other ports to the right signals like reset, clock, and indie valid is the a uh, valid signal which indicates that this is a valid byte that goes into the data pass. So here we see an expression um, that indicates that this is a, um, a byte that goes into the data pass zero. This is the command to invoke incisive formal verifier. I select the check using an environment variable. I select the two simple consec only sequence in this case. And then I invoke IV. So while the GUI is coming up, we can um, see, we can select the uh, instance of the scoreboard which is associated with the DOT. So we have three instances of the scoreboard. We can see that uh, in the scoreboard zero, we can see that the assertion output to symbols consecutive only is failing. So this is the failure that we want to debug now. Remember, Two consecutive symbols only requires that we see two consecutive occurrences of the symbol on the input pass. So we expect the same sequence on the output pass. If you look at the waveform, what do we see? First thing we see is that the symbol value picked by incisive enterprise verifier is 
zero 08. Now we can also see that on the input channel we see this value appears two times in the first two cycles and it does not appear any time after that. So that means we see the sequence two consecutive symbols. If you look at the output channel now, what do we see? We see that the first value that comes out of the design is 08. This is the symbol value. But then the next value is 88, which is a different value. So here we see that the data path somehow manipulated or corrupted the data sequence. This might indicate a bug in the design. So this quick demo demonstrated how to instantiate the incisive formal scoreboard in your design and how to use it to find a bug in a data transport function of your design. Thank you and have a nice day.